Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn what is event. We will briefly understand how to create event and how to use it in JavaScript. But let me first tell you what is event is all about. So let me first describe event in very simple words. Event is just an action performed by the user. There are almost 200 type of event are there in the JavaScript. We will not take all of them, but we will just learn a few important events. Using event, you can perform different type of operation on HTML element. One of the most important event is click event. Click event mostly used to click a button or to perform any form submission or any validation. You can also create different type of animation using event. Now we will first take a look at click event. The click event simulate a mouse click on an element. The click event is fired when your mouse pointer is pressed and released on a single element. For example, to call click event in the HTML, you have on click attribute like this. So in dom.html file, I will first create a paragraph with a class para and just before the paragraph, I will create a button here. So I will just create a paragraph here. So I will say p class para, right? And just before this paragraph, I will add button here. So I will say button and specify on click attribute here to call click event. So I will say on click is equal to. So in the double code, you can specify JavaScript statement. So here I will say document dot query selector. So I will select the paragraph using query selector method and in the square bracket, I will specify dot para, right? So I will first select the paragraph and change paragraph text. So I will say dot inner HTML and specify date object here. So when you execute this statement, your paragraph will display current date, right? Now when you execute this, and click on the button you will see your current date right so in this example we just specified inner property to the paragraph using on click event to call click event we had used on click attribute right now you know that you can execute javascript statement using on click event so now you can call any function using on click attribute right like this so in main.js file, I will create a function and specify some text to the paragraph. So in main.js file, I will just say function, specify function name, display. And in this function, I will specify inner property to the paragraph and specify some demo text. So I will say document dot query selector, specify my paragraph class name here, dot inner HTML property. And just after that, specify some demo text. So I will say this is paragraph text, right? And then in dom.html file, I will just get rid of this JavaScript statement. And here I will specify my function name. So I will specify display here with parenthesis. So when you execute this and perform the click event, you will get paragraph text on the document. So till now, we have seen click event using HTML markup. Now we will understand how to create a click event using JavaScript without any HTML attribute. To add event using JavaScript, you need to call add event listener method. Using this method, you can call any JavaScript event. Now let's consider the following example. So I will just remove this on click attribute from the button and specify class btn, right? Just after that, in main.js file, I will write some JavaScript code. So I will first select the button element and add add event listener method to this button, right? So I will say document dot query selector, specify button class here. So I will say dot btn. And just after that, I will just call add event listener method. So I will say add event listener here. In this parenthesis, I will just specify event name. So I will say click here, comma, I will specify second argument function, right? So I will say function here. 
The first argument refers to the event name and the second argument refers to the action, right? So in this function, I will say document dot query selector and select the paragraph. So I will say dot para here and specify inner HTML property and specify some demo text here. So I will say using add event listener method, right? So when you execute this, you will get paragraph text on the document, right? Using add event listener method, you can specify any event to the HTML element. You can also specify styling to your HTML element just like this. So in dom.html file, I will specify some demo text to the paragraph. So I will just say increase font size and color. And in main.js file, I will just comment this statement and say document.query selector, select my paragraph, call the style property dot font size and specify font size 3 em and just after that i will just copy the statement paste it here and just remove the font size property and specify color here right and the color is equal to tomato right so when you execute this the text of the paragraph will increase and the color will change to tomato using event you can create thousands of animations that's it I hope you understand this lecture. I have asked a question in the comment. Answering that question will help you to understand this topic more quickly. That is all for now. We will see you in the next tutorial.